evening and welcome you to an exciting edition of World Tonic with Uriofe Williams where we share the word of God to all our uh, viewers uh, where we uh, pick one or two things from what the Lord has to tell, to tell what the Lord has to say. It's an exciting day today and I hope you are enjoying this season at the moment. Don't worry. No matter what you are going through, no matter how low your post is, God is going to raise you up. God's got your back. I can tell you that. There's no point putting fear in your heart. You don't have to be afraid of anything. God is surely, surely in control. So with that, I'm still going to say compliments of the season to you. Don't go beyond your lane. Don't go beyond the line. If all you can afford is what you have in your house, come on, eat joy. Everything is going to be fine. Everything is going to be sweeter. God has your name on his register. Welcome to World Tonic today again. Before we continue, come on, let's dance. Let's praise the Lord. I'll be right back. <laughs> Who don't believe in you? There are people who don't believe in you. 
You don't have to convince them. You don't have to let them know. You don't have to preach to them. There are people who do not believe in you at all. So there is no point wasting your time so that they can believe in you. There is no point. They don't believe in you, so they don't have to believe in you. If you look at 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 28, and Eliab his eldest brother had, when he spake unto the men, and Eliab's hand, anger was kindled against David, and they said, Why camest thou down hither? And with whom hast thou left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know thy pride and the naughtiness of thy heart, for thou art come down that thou mightest see the battle. And David said, What have I done? Is there not a cause? Now look at that guy, Eliab. That's David's elder brother. He wants David to stay in the bush looking after a few sheep because he doesn't believe in whatever David can do. Let me tell you something. You don't have to exhume your strength because of those who don't believe in you. You don't have to convince them. You don't have to tell them anything. There are people who don't believe in you and will never believe in you. So they do not matter in your life. They don't matter in your life. At the end of the day, David killed Goliath and will never have a lab again. So there is no point trying to teach them. David never tried to convince a liar. He had no business with a liar. A lot of times, we have a business with God. We have business with destiny. We have business with where we are going. But we concentrate on those who don't matter. Those who don't believe in anything you can do. Share a big vision with them. They will tell you it's not possible. Tell them this is where you are going. They will tell you nobody has ever done that before. David Nobody of your age has ever come to a battle. Nobody of your age has ever confronted Goliath. And they can be part of our family. They can be members of our family. They can be those we look up to as mentors. They don't believe in us, but they don't matter. You don't believe in me, you don't need to receive me. So you don't believe in me, I don't receive you, because you do not matter in my life. It's as simple as ABC. They can also be in high places. People with authority. People that when they talk, millions of people obey them. King Saul. Saul told David, you cannot go except to wear this. By the end of the day, David said, I cannot wear this because it's not part of me. There are folks who don't believe in you. What's that your vision? What's your vision? What's your vision about? Where are you going? What plans do you have about your life? Have you discussed with people who don't believe in you and then you feel you cannot do it? It's time to get out of that obscurity and take giant steps. It's time to take gigantic steps. You don't have to concentrate on those who don't believe in you. Because they do not matter. Those who do not believe in you, who do not know where you are going, do not matter in any way. Now let me tell you a story. When I was when, when I began um, staging place, there was a time I told my group members I said I was going to be bring the sitting governor of a state to come and watch her play on campus. In those days, to bring a governor to a state, even till now, you can't just go and bring a governor to a state. Even the vice chancellor cannot just bring a governor to a university. But I told my group members, if you believed, many others did not believe. Who are you by the way by the bush? How do you bring a governor here? There was a certain day I said I'll bring celebrities to come and watch her play on campus. How are you? How, how, who are you? Where are you from? Who is your mother and your mother? By the way, I'm by the bush. They didn't believe. But eventually, a sitting governor came to watch that play. Look, my friend, everything is possible. Mark my word. Luke chapter 1 verse 37 says, For with God, all things are possible. God is all you need. If you focus on him and you don't concentrate on those who don't matter, you will discover that everything is possible. That governor came. God has the hearts of kings in his hands. Concentrate on those who believe in you. Those who can chastise you into success. Those who can encourage you into success. Those who can push you into success. Those who will never tell you there is something you cannot do. Because everything is possible. When we began a film village, it was in a very thick bush. There was nobody who was living in that place. The city of Thailand in the Bible. There was nobody who was living practically in that place. Nobody. That, that is a place that where there were snakes, there were scorpions, there were cobras, there were monkeys, there were all sorts of creatures. It's beside Lagos in the Express Way in Nigeria. You can imagine what I'm talking about. It's a very, very thick bush. It used to be a very, very thick bush. So when I told some group, some of my members then, I said, we're going there. Eh? We got there. Few months later, everybody disappeared. Because it didn't look, it didn't look like it. 
I didn't have a time in my account to do anything. I didn't have money in my account to do anything, to start building. It's different from when you are already a billionaire and you admit that you want to go and develop a bush. This is a guy who has nothing, who can even hardly eat. To the glory of God today, people see the glory of God as a city of talents. And the city of talents today is not only in Ibadona. The city of talents is also in other states, a few other states of the Federation, that God is helping us to put things together. Look, everything is possible. God can do anything. If it is in God's plan, He will do it in His own time. Isaiah chapter 60. If it is in His own time, He said, ah, the Lord will do it in my time. What matters is never for you to give up. They may not believe in you. Some people feel you can do something and in the long run they get a better person to do it. It does not matter. It does not matter. If you don't believe in me, no problem. I go ahead and pursue greater things. They are going to look for you again. So even Jesus Christ himself was not believed at the time. He said they could not perform miracles because of their own belief. Because they did not believe him. They could not perform miracles. Listen to me. You don't have to look up to man for anything. Learn to look up to God for everything. No matter how big your vision is, your vision is not bigger than God. God is bigger than your vision. God is bigger than everything you have in plan. As you go to a new year right now, never ever let anyone talk less about your vision. Never ever be intimidated that somebody is not believing in what you are doing. Can be your father, can be your mother, can be your auntie, can be your uncle, can be your brother, can be your sister, can be your friend, can be anybody. But make sure in your heart, even if you don't believe, it does not matter. I will not concentrate on your belief. I will be a David when you finally achieve what you need to achieve. Those who don't believe, they go into silence. As soon as David killed Goliath, beheaded him, a liar went into obscurity. He could not challenge David anymore. There was no place it was written that a liar even came back to congratulate David. He even never came back to congratulate him. David would have lost a lot if David himself became depressed because a liar never believed in him. What am I trying to tell you? Believe in yourself. Believe in God. Never feel that because somebody is not believing in you, that's the end of your vision. Everyone you see today at the point had somebody who never believed in them. Go out and ask. Make research about people. Everyone you see today there was a time Tyler Perry at the United States of America was hosting events every year and those events were failing. People never believed in him. Pastor Matthew Asimono said something at the time. He said the first program he held, people didn't come. Then he said the program could have failed, but he has not failed. I'm telling you, there was a time Pastor E.A. E. Adeboe didn't have any time to move from redemption camp into Lagos. Because there was a toll gate where you would have to pay some money and they had money to pay. Listen to me. Let this encourage you. Everyone has a story. Without a story, there will be no glory. If without a story, there will be no glory. It doesn't matter who is attacking you. It doesn't matter who does not believe in you. Only God matters in the pursuit of your vision. Praise God. And with that, I'll come to the end of this edition today. I spoke about the first one. Those who attack you do not matter. Those who don't believe in you do not matter. The next time we're going to be meeting, and we'll be talking about the next set of people who do not matter. And don't forget also, when I finish this series, I will now start talking about those who matter. Because when there are those who don't matter, there will be those who really do matter in your life. And we're going to dissect everything scripturally, and we're going to see them by the end of the entire episode that we are on today and one topic. One more time, compliment of the season. I believe that God is reaching out to you through this uh, particular program. So if you want to get in touch with me, I just send a WhatsApp message to plus 234-070-33-215055. I'm praying for everyone who is watching this series and I pray for you every day. I decree that everyone who has looked down on your vision 
we eventually celebrate with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone who has condemned your vision, who don't believe in where you are going, who think you are crazy, who, those who are spoiling your mind, who are poisoning your mind against the success of the future, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that they will celebrate with you. And those who do not want to celebrate with you, they will go into silence. Do not forget, Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through him. If you want to receive Jesus into your heart, come and lay your right hand on your, on your chest and say after me, Jesus, I believe in you. I know you are the Son of God. From now, I give my life to you. I accept you. Make me a child of God. Cleanse me from all iniquities. Cleanse me with the blood of Jesus Christ. From now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. You see my number is on the screen. Send a WhatsApp message to that number. I believe that you have been blessed. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Olofe Williams Awujesu. Do not also forget that when you watch this video, share it on your social media pages so that other people can also be blessed by what on it. I'm Olofe Williams. I love you. And I'm proud of you. Adura lo be mi o e Adura lo be mi o Adura lo be mi o O ju so ka sa o O ju so te le go O wa mi ba ru kere Emi ti go ke agba